Good afternoon and thank you for tuning in to WSKI Channel 17 Mountain Weather Report brought to you by 45 North. You can stop into the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel and check them out for breakfast and dinner. And you can check us out at WSKITV.com. Your weather for Friday, March 9th, summit temperature is 22 to 26 degrees up top. In the base area, 30 to 34 degrees. Uh, westerly winds up top, 12 to 20 miles per hour. And westerly winds down at the bottom, 8 to 14. Snow showers should continue throughout the day, um, receiving about an inch. Uh, it does say a dusting, but we'll, cut, we'll bounce it up to an inch because I think we're going to get a little more than expected. Uh, on to Saturday, we have flurries and snow once again. Um, Around an inch again, we have uh, maybe a little bit more snow in the overnight between Friday and Saturday, but uh, we're going to stick with that for now. We have 22 to 26 degrees up top, 31 to 35 down at the base, uh, northwesterly winds 15 to 30 up top. Into the extended forecast, partly sunny skies on Sunday uh, and highs around 32 with partly sunny once again over on Monday. And then we're going to have some snow once again. Weather event should bring a couple inches, uh, but as of right now, we're going to hold off on any totals uh, because we may uh, see more than we expect. Keep our fingers crossed there. And your trail report brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. We'll have 126 trails expected to be open tomorrow, with 40 of them groomed this evening. Powder and packed powder, as you'd imagine, uh, will be out there. Uh, some of that trail system is going to be pretty nice with groomed over and chopped down some of the bumps that formed over the day. On Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, we'll have some fresh groomers as well as Comp Hill and Narrow Gauge. Sluice, Lower Winter's Way, Candyside, Boardwalk, The Landing, Birches and Snowbrook, down around the bottom of the mountain. Over to the east side, Ramdown will once again be the only one off King Pine that's smoothed out. Uh, Two Hall, Whiffletree, and Slasher as well over on Whiffletree. On the west side, Scoot is going to be the only one groomed out over there. Uh, terrain parks will haywire, skybound, and stomping grounds will all be smoothed. Your lift schedule for the morning, we will have Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway at 8.30 a.m. As well as uh, Double Runner West at 8.30. Uh, that's going to be to the center of the mountain. And if you head over to the uh, west side of the mountain a little bit, we have uh, Super Quad and Skyline uh, getting access to the center parts, uh, and then a Timberline at 9 a.m. Over to the east side, we have King Pine and Whiffle Tree at 9 a.m. as well. And as you know, with any wind closures or any maintenance issues, we generally run the number 3 T-Bar on demand. Down to the outdoor center, currently there's 70 kilometers of cross-country skiing and the grooming is in progress. 20 kilometers of snowshoeing is open. A fat biking is currently closed for the next few days because of soft conditions and the skating rink is currently closed. Fat biking conditions as of this morning uh, with a lot of new snow. There's going to be a lot of grooming in progress because of the soft conditions and they're going to be grooming. Uh, so make sure you check with them before you head on the trails. And down to the rack, there's going to be... A couple of events happening uh, Thursday and Friday with live music at 6 p.m. on Thursday and 9 p.m. on Friday. Next Wednesday, uh, March 14th, we'll have annual town meeting where you can elect the town officers as well as uh, you can vote on remaining articles. Residents are encouraged to come and participate in the town's decisions. Uh, the watch and win March 10th through the 12th this weekend, 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. each day. And then only on Saturday we'll have an evening show. Make sure you tune in to win some cool prizes and answer some trivia. Uh, as always, we're WSKI Channel 17. You can check us out at WSKITV.com for more information, live quad cam, as well as more information about the local Western Maine mountains.